Okay, for our next exercise, we're going to replicate the same process. We will start by the creation using one of the creator node or one of the primitive nodes. Then we are going to go and profile it and look development. Then what we are going to do is texturizing and masking. And last step is going to be our export and build. We will keep doing this until the idea is more understandable. So for this, I'm aiming for something small, alien underworld form. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to go to my geo primitive. I'm going to take creator. So if you click on it, what you will see here, you will see this form. And we can change it either to creator field or creator in the middle. Okay, so when you click, you'll have this solo creator. I want to have it as a field. And we are going to find the best seed. I already tried it, so I'm going to go with this one. And now what we are going to do is we are going to modify the scaling. So I'm going to increase the scaling of my creator. So I want to have this center form. So going in here, going a little bit, something like this. I like this is a setting area or as a battling area. We can increase the depth. So I want it to be much more deeper. So going like, yeah, something's like this. And next, I want it to merge it with another geographical primitive. So I'm going to take Badland. Okay. Badland is this chaos rocky style. So also what I'm going to do is go, I'm going when you create a badland here, you can have different types. So you can choose between a large badland and a smaller one. And I'm going to choose seed. Okay. So I want something like Canyon in the middle. And now what we need to do is basically we need to combine both of them. So I'm going to go for the combination, we're going to go to our adjustment find combine or simplified way combine is going from one output to another output or if you go in here it will suggest it the best note so those are easier way going into my combination in here and what I want to do is I want to go for maximum okay and I want to have 50% and then what we need to do is basically I want to level up so this is by itself our creator and this is going to be our combination in here so badland or creator and in here now what I'm going to do is basically taking my level increase it and then clamp it. So I'm going to clamp it again to like 32%. In here, this is our badland. And this is the mixture in between both of them. What we can do now is we can start profiling and the look development process. So you see like with two nodes, we can get a beautiful result from both of those. Okay, we can try multiple blending modes. So you can add, you can have this form, you can maximize, you can subtract. So you need to experiment with them. I'm gonna use the maximum. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use in here, the same terraces that we used. So I'm going to go to my profiling and I'm going to get my 
fractal terraces and I'm gonna add it to our combination and from here we're gonna go for more classical model and we're gonna decrease the spacing in between and increase the intensity of it so we can see much more steps okay so a little bit less or something like this is fine and we can change the shape now we have this form which looks beautiful now what we need to do is I want to break the formality of it so I what we can add is we can add a look development so going to our look development so we started with the profiling I'm going to go with the look development and I'm going to choose canyonizer and from here we can have this canyon so we can have this rocky canyon in here that will give this little bit of details what we can do is also like we can change the formation of it so going in here we also like can vary the shape so I can go for specific form and I'm gonna increase our streamline okay. what we need to do is we need always to in most of the look development they are heavy and erosion so you need either to apply changes or you make your own auto so now we have multiple canyon tile in here change probably the octave so now we have our form our shapes and next what we need to do is we need always to add our erosion so we can have we 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 can transmit from our CGI form to more realistic form. So I'm gonna go to our erosion, choose erosion, and you see that our erosion, our look development, either they are before our erosion or they come after our erosion. So now this is how it looks like. How the form is looking like so we can decrease the duration I guess 4 is fine but what we need to do is I want to add more randomize so something like this and maybe increasing the down cut also activate the auto update now what we can do is we can start colorizing our form okay. so going in here I'm gonna go for 1k now what we can do is we can go take our texture node and we can from our output this is our texture and we can add our first sat map so I'm going to go with our satellite map and I'm gonna go for something more dark so more black so going in here we find more of those black here. choose something like this then we can add another satellite map so from output going in here going to go with another texture and using another satellite map I want to add a little bit of more dirt to the protrude area so I'm going in here find some things like sandy could be like this so 
we go up in here something like this and I want it to combine both of them blend 100% and now what I want to do is I want to mask this and the mask that we are going to use is going to be our protrusion so I'm going to go in here this is our mask going from our output and going from in here also to our I don't know why it's always taking where to our output so I'm going to protrusion this is what it looks like we can leave it as it is and from here I'm gonna go to our masking so now we have all those brown details in here and you can always swap the input so if you want to see how it's going to look like if you swap it I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm going to add another texture so going in here or choose from here texture and I want to add some more like redness in here so going in here take our output and then choose another satellite map and if you want to go to something like colorful so if you go to colorful you have a different one in here so we can choose something like this looks beautiful and then we can go and combine both of those so this is our combination okay you want to put this as first input and this as our second input and we're gonna go blend it but I want the red where it's flow and not like this. And for this, we are going to introduce a new satellite, a new masking. So if we go to our data mask, we have what we call here flow. So I'm going to take my flow, go from my output into the input. And when we visualize it, you see the flow of the sediment in here. And you can choose like the primary one so you can have much more um, I would say larger flow or secondary one or you can combine like tertiary with the primary one okay what I'm going to choose is I'm gonna choose like the primary one but I want to be much more whiter, so I want to increase the mask. And for this, inside of our post processing that we talked about, there is what we call logarithmic scale, which basically increases the whiteness. And there is also this equalizer. Okay. And now what we can do is we can go in here, and I'm gonna go from the my output to my mask. And now we see our redness in those areas. Okay. And this you can create something beautiful for underworld, for alien, and you can visualize it. Now, to recap, so we started with our creation part. We, we combined our creator with our badland, then we started to Look development, adding details and profiling. And the last step is basically texturizing and masking. And now for the final step, the only things we need to do is basically we need to take from our erosion, our final output. I'm going to go in here, add output. So from our output. Next, what we need also from here, we need to mark our mask. So going in here, right click, mark for export this mask, go for our flow and mark for export. And lastly, our combination as an export. You can go to build, change them all to be a PNG. I'm gonna choose 
1009 for Unreal. Define. I'm going to call it here. I'm going to call it Alien. So Alien Landscape. Cool. And we're going to select our folder and we're going to start the build. Once you start the build, okay, it will define where to save our file. So I'm going to save my file as alien landscape and it's going to start the build. Once final, it's going to generate for you all the flow the mask that you can use afterward inside of Unreal.